Something extraordinary is happening along the Yangtze River. China's newest ship, the Type 076 Sichuan, has been spotted preparing tests for an electromagnetic launch system, technology once reserved for the world's most advanced aircraft carriers. This isn't just another vessel. It's a symbol of a massive leap in naval innovation. If these tests succeed, Sichuan could redefine how drones and jets take off from the sea. Today, we'll uncover how it works, why it matters, and what it reveals about the future of technology at sea. At the center of this development is something that looks simple but changes everything. The Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, or EMALS. Instead of relying on pressurized steam or short runways, EMALS uses powerful electromagnetic energy to propel an aircraft forward at incredible speed with smooth, precise control. It's like replacing a giant springboard with an intelligent railgun powered by advanced electrical systems. The Type 076 Sichuan, currently stationed at the Hudongzhonghua shipyard in Shanghai, has become the testing ground for this technology. Satellite images show the ship facing open waters on the Yangtze River with a long catapult rail exposed and pointed outward, the same setup used in pre-launch calibration. Observers noticed bright lights on its deck and bridge during nighttime activity signaling that engineers were preparing for critical launch trials. The Shanghai Maritime Safety Administration later announced a no-entry zone around the shipyard from October 20th to 29th, citing daily underwater operations. These details suggest sled tests, where a weighted metal carriage is accelerated down the catapult to simulate an aircraft's launch. Engineers then recover the sled from the water and analyze data on speed, acceleration, and stress to fine-tune the system. What makes this so groundbreaking is that EMALS allows unmatched flexibility. Traditional steam systems take up enormous space, need complex plumbing, and can't easily adapt to launching both heavy and light aircraft. EMALS, on the other hand, offers instant power adjustments and precision control, essential for launching lightweight drones alongside full-size jets. It's also far more energy efficient converting stored electrical power directly into kinetic force through linear motors. Moreover, it dramatically reduces mechanical stress on aircraft, extending their operational life and lowering maintenance costs. This not only boosts launch reliability, but also marks a strategic leap toward fully automated carrier flight operations. Only two navies have achieved this level of sophistication before. The U.S. Navy with its Ford-class carriers and China's Type 003 Fujian. Now, the Sichuan stands poised to become the first amphibious assault ship in the world to use the same system. That achievement would mean China has successfully miniaturized a technology previously limited to massive, nuclear-powered carriers, bringing it into a more compact, multi-role vessel. If successful, the Sichuan will demonstrate that electromagnetic launch systems aren't just for heavy aircraft carriers anymore. They could become the new standard for launching a wider variety of aircraft including stealth drones, transport craft, and next-generation reconnaissance planes, directly from smaller, more versatile decks. Beyond its engineering triumphs, the Type 076 Sichuan is redefining what a ship can be. Officially labeled as an amphibious assault ship, it's actually something far more flexible, a hybrid platform capable of supporting helicopters, drones, and fixed-wing aircraft all at once. With an estimated displacement of more than 40,000 tons and a full-length flight deck, the vessel looks closer to a light aircraft carrier than a traditional assault ship. This blending of roles signals a strategic evolution. Instead of designing separate ships for amphibious support, drone control, and air operations, China is merging all those capabilities into one advanced vessel. The Sichuan can deploy uncrewed aerial vehicles such as the stealthy GJ-11, along with manned aircraft if required. That hybrid setup means it can operate in multiple environments, from humanitarian logistics to advanced air operations, without needing an entire carrier strike group. The ship's design further supports that idea. A twin island configuration offers better control and redundancy, while its full deck layout maximizes runway length. Below deck, modular storage bays and automated elevators streamline flight operations, enabling rapid reconfiguration between missions. Radar systems and communications arrays have been fitted to coordinate complex air traffic, signaling that it's nearly ready for real testing. In terms of construction, 
The Sichuan reflects China's growing ability to build advanced vessels rapidly. It was launched in late 2023, and by mid-2025, it already appears ready for functional trials. The testing of Sichuan's electromagnetic catapult marks more than an engineering victory. It represents a shift in how technology and sea power intersect. It shows that future maritime operations are likely to rely on precision, automation, and sustainable energy use rather than brute mechanical systems. MALS offers several long-term advantages. It eliminates the need for high-pressure steam boilers and heavy plumbing, reducing maintenance demands. The system's electrical design also allows faster turnarounds between launches, improving flight operation tempo. More importantly, it opens the door to a new generation of unmanned systems, aircraft that are too light to be safely launched by older catapults but too heavy for vertical takeoff. That means more advanced drones could soon operate from ships like the Sichuan, providing real-time data, extended surveillance, and enhanced coordination with other naval platforms. The Sichuan also demonstrates a growing trend toward modular, multi-role ships. Rather than constructing enormous carriers that take years to deploy, countries are exploring smaller, highly capable vessels that can perform many roles at once. In this sense, the Sichuan represents efficiency and adaptability, qualities that are increasingly valuable in modern maritime design. There are, however, challenges to overcome. MAL systems demand immense electrical energy and stability. Integrating them into non-nuclear ships requires advanced power management technology, such as supercapacitors and integrated electric propulsion systems. These systems must handle massive surges of power for each launch without compromising the rest of the ship's functions. The success of Sichuan's trials will reveal how effectively China has solved this engineering puzzle. Globally, the development of this ship may encourage other nations to accelerate similar projects, leading to a new era of technological innovation at sea. Instead of traditional mechanical launch systems, we might soon see fleets equipped with electromagnetic launchers capable of handling manned jets, drones, and even future hypersonic or unmanned recovery vehicles. The Type 076 Sichuan marks a pivotal step in maritime innovation. By combining the versatility of an amphibious platform with the sophistication of electromagnetic launch technology, it's redefining what sea-based aviation looks like. Its upcoming tests aren't just mechanical milestones. They're signals of a changing era where ships think smarter, launch cleaner, and operate more efficiently. Whether it's drones, next-generation jets, or entirely new types of aerial systems, the possibilities are expanding fast. The Sichuan proves that technology at sea can evolve as rapidly as it does in the skies, bridging the gap between digital intelligence, clean propulsion, and advanced naval engineering, and showing that the boundaries between the two are fading more than ever before. To dive deeper, click the link to watch our full video and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you there.